doing? What the heck? What are you doing? Hello? Even the cat is distressed by this. You hear it screaming? Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. Now, we're on episode 77, and over the course of the last few episodes, a lot has been going on. Right now, only one sim is home, though, which is kind of wonderful. It, it feels so calm and safe here right now. I'm just gonna work on my little school project and, and hopefully have no issues. If you missed last episode, I think the major things that happened were that Perry aged up into a teen, Blake is about to become an elder, which is a disaster, and Pepper and her brother have been trying to start dating people. We also joined scouts just to impress Tommy, so I think that pretty much catches you up to speed. And also Pepper and her brother have been trying to start dating. We also joined scouts purely to impress Tommy and have more of a chance to see her, so I think that's pretty much all that you've missed. Aside from the whole, like, you know, I, I killed an heir by accident a couple weeks ago, but like, don't worry about that. You know, don't, don't worry about that. Oh god. Beat reporter's big break. Anna looks up to see her editor leaning against the frame of her office door with a sly grin on his face. In his hand, he's clutching a paper and he asks, do you know what I've got here? Anna shakes her head no, unsure what her editor is being so coy about. It's from the head office of the Post Times. They've specifically requested your help in writing a retrospective on GeekCon for a story that'll run internationally. What do you say? Having an article published internationally would surely be a boon for Anna, putting money in her pocket and increased recognition behind her name. Is she actually ready for the higher level of scrutiny that'll bring? I'll write the article. Anna will gain fame and money. I don't think I'll get fired from this. Some of these you have to be careful because you get fired when you pick the fame. I think this one's fine. It's just fame and money. Oh my god, I'm famous. Small fish in a big pond. It wasn't the first time Anna had written about GeekCon, but it always been for smaller publications. Strengthened by her expertise on the subject, words streamed from her consciousness onto the monitor. Curious, she refreshed the article to see if any comments had been written. Oh no, 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 Anna, don't read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Big mistake. Who are all these nerds challenging the no-name writer? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, is it because she's a woman? Is that why? Wow. Okay. No, I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh, God. And the eco-inspector is here, too. Can I just delete him? Is that inappropriate? Because, like, I mean, it is inappropriate. That This is not the way you're supposed to interact with these people. But, like, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with you. Problem solved. No more eco-inspector. What neighborhood action plans do we even have on right now? Green gardening, rock your body, performing arts, fun loving. Sure. Sure. Who's calling me now? <gasps> Baby news. Nathan and I are pregnant. You know, he's been telling me this for weeks. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. <laughs> he literally says this like every episode. It's like, we might have a baby. We're gonna have a baby. We checked last episode. He was pregnant. This time he's finally calling me to say he's pregnant. I mean, like, I don't know why I keep acting shocked. We've, we've known this. This has been been like a, a months long process. What, are you cold? Calm down. I just wanted to finish the extra credit because I felt like that would be useful for you to have some skills. I'm just killing time till everybody gets home, but I'm actually going to focus on the pet. Oh my gosh, I have not filled the pet bowl. It must have been emptied. Anyway, I'm going to make sure we talk to the cat a little bit because I'm worried about it running away from me. You are something else, little buddy. You are so weird looking. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I got in trouble for that once. I, I called my cat weird in The Sims and then this kid came to my stream and they were freaking out. They were like, how dare you? You said you liked pets. So why did you call one ugly? They put like 20 messages. They were freaking out. I, I apologize. I'll never call a pet ugly again. Why won't you play with the cat? I keep pressing play with laser pointer and he won't do it. There we go. Finally, should Peter invite over classmate Amira? I mean, you can. Who's Amira? Amira. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, she's in the wall. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Amira's cousin is called Amir. Must be a family name. Okay, I wanted to give her like a quick tiny makeover. I'm thinking we might befriend her, so I, I just want to make sure she doesn't have any like eyeball rings or something. She's also active, hot-headed, and a serial romantic. I don't know if she has the best traits. Um, yeah, you know, angry and not looking for commitment are probably not two things that really mesh well with what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of the opposite. She's cute though, so we can keep our options open. Oh, how old are you? Teen day one out of seven. Oh my gosh. So what if, hang on, she's the same age as Perry is. Shall I come introduce myself? We could do like a triple date. <laughs> Perry and Amira. We could get Pepper and Tommy. We could get, where is your, oh, he hasn't started flirting with them yet. Well, Peter was gonna date Jace. Maybe I'll have him talk to Amira a little bit though. Get to know her, show off my outfit, give a little pep talk, maybe gossip, and she's hot-headed. <laughs> 
Lovely. Oh, she's flirty. Besties, I might just, I might just see about this. Not to move too fast or anything, but we're both flirty. You are much more bold than your siblings are. <laughs> your sister has been trying to like sneakily join the same clubs as Tommy for weeks. And meanwhile, you're over here kissing this girl's neck on your front step with your family around. Like your siblings are right here and you're kissing her. You and I are different. <laughs> Very different. Promoted to team mascot. Oh, Blake, congrats. That's exciting. <laughs> you look really good. It's impressive. I think we're level like two now, probably. <laughs> oh, level three. Oh, okay. Becoming an elder tomorrow, by the way. Just by the way. Okay, so sorry to make you do this. I truly am sorry, Pepper, but uh, would you like to resume some paintings? Because I would like to get some scouting badges, so. Oh god, you take a bath. You look gross. Stinky. You're a stinky ghost. How does that even work? You're not even a person. You're like a hologram. How do you smell? What? Whatever. Where did the girlfriend go. Oh, here we are. On my computer. That's we see, that's weird. You're like snooping on my computer. How come mess around is there before like asked to be girlfriend? How does that, how does that make sense? I guess they aren't that close, like friendship wise. <laughs> oh, there we go. Asked to be girlfriend. There we go. All right, problem solved. Oh, I haven't replaced this yet after the fire last episode. I don't have enough money to replace it. Okay, here, use the bathroom. Can anybody else do anything to earn us some more money? Like this painting, is this, is this? Okay, 111, that's some money. Make another one. Seriously, my dear, every little bit counts. I'm not kidding. Sell a plate, that'll help. Level three of the painting skill, that's pretty nice, Pepper, actually. That's impressive. I don't, I think we still don't have enough stuff to get like the badge though. What is that? What are you making? What kind of painting is that? What is wrong with you? I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm choosing to stop thinking about it. We're all going to sleep. Oh, you're dancing with your brother's girlfriend. Are you flirting with me? Should I try? I should really get going now? Mmm, you should. Yeah, you should, Amira, because you're trying to flirt with your boyfriend's brother. That is low. No, she wasn't doing anything wrong. <laughs> she was just standing there. I'm reading into it. It's my fault. I'm the bad one. Oh, it's three o'clock. We can check this now. All right, neighborhood stories. <gasps> Alex and Nathan delivered a baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hillary and Hector are expecting a baby. Someone got a job. Well, if Alex and Nathan delivered a baby. Load so I can see it. Come on. Oh, it's Winterfest. Oh, we can invite the baby over. Reagan Landgrab. Okay, first of all, our last name is Belle. So we're gonna have to change that. But Reagan is really cute. I love their names. Kenny, Renee, and Reagan. That's a, that's a beautiful name. I am very excited about that. Okay, we will certainly have to go meet that baby today. But maybe I should do a little bit of decorating for Winterfest. I kind of forgot to do that. Where is the decoration box? Up here. Okay. Put up some Winterfest decoration. I pressed put up. Put them up. Put up decoration. Look at this. It's lying to me. It's saying I have decorations when I don't. Okay. I'll do it myself. That looks so weird. Why do they float? How is it so glitchy at this point still to this day? <laughs> like, how, do, how does that even work? Whatever. Come here, rummage for decorations. Okay, so reindeer and a hat. We can stick the reindeer out front, that's cute. And then we could probably just sell the hat. Um, where shall I put? Maybe I'll put the tree. We can just block off this room, like who cares? So maybe I'll put the tree right there. Oh my gosh, Pepper is gonna be a young adult in two days. We have to build a new house soon. I'll wait until she ages up, but like that's probably in the next couple of episodes. We're gonna have to make a new house for the new generation because it's almost Pepper's turn. Oh my God, Blake's gonna be an elder today. I'm not prepared for this. Okay, everyone, as a family, I just clicked eating dirt is unhealthy. Who's eating dirt? I didn't even read it. As an entire family, we are decorating this tree. Come on. Oh, it's kind of cute. All right, it's kind of glitchy, but it's working nonetheless. Oh, look how nice that is. Shall we light the tree all together? Or is that gonna end badly for us? You know what? If it catches on fire, then so be it. It'll be fun. Oh, it didn't even catch on fire. Okay, so if you you could place the present pile underneath the tree. I can't even see the present pile. <sighs> I'll just buy my own. Whatever, it's fine. I want presents. I want to have a good holiday. Okay, everyone, come on. We're gonna open presents together. No one has eaten yet this morning, but I don't care. That say it's almost Penelope's birthday too. Oh my gosh. We are gonna have a lot of birthdays in the next couple episodes. We got one buddy. Sure. All right, Blake, you better treasure this one because that is your birthday present and your Christmas present. Congrats. You are almost old. A scholarly stack. Ooh. <laughs> Lovely. Florist dream gardening tools, sure. Shelly's shells towel ring. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a gift. Tea magic personal brewer. Oh, we got some nice things. They weren't kidding. 
That that's a towel ring. It's worth 155 simoleons though. And I can put the teapot in here. We don't have anything like that. I also don't have a garden, but maybe I'll put my gardening tools by my dead cow plant and my scholarly stack could go in the office. There, we made good use out of that stuff. What, did you not open your present yet? Oh, you haven't. Oh, here we go, your turn. The glutton spiel, what even is that? Oh, it might be a book. Oh yeah, it's a book. I, that checks out, your mom's an author, so I wouldn't be surprised if she gave you a book for your birthday. I mean for the holiday. It's not your birthday yet. You aren't even gonna get presents on your birthday probably. Sorry, bestie. Okay, well now it's it's noon. It's less unreasonable to go over and bother the baby. I kind of want to go visit my brother and see the new baby. I'm literally gonna bring everyone, even the cat. Like, Cookie can come too for all I care. <laughs> the gang's all here. Oh, they decorated. That's cute. This will be good actually because we can see the cousins and stuff. Like, we haven't really spent much time with them recently. Do you want to come talk to- Ah! Alex is an elder. Alex is an elder. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, bestie, this one's up to you, Kenny. You will be the one raising that baby. I'm sorry to say it, but you will be the one raising that baby. You want to come talk to your brother? I'm doing this because I'm trying to get some more club points because I want to be able to, like, make the club bigger. We have this club of our family members, and I want to make it bigger. Oh, my gosh. Look, 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 look. Here. You want to come meet the baby? Oh, look. She's swimming. No, oh, that's so cute. Penelope came over to her cousin's house to go swimming. Reagan is very hungry. Oh, bottle feed. I'll take care of the baby. I'm not worried about it. Hello? Oh, did I press? age up by accident? Okay. <laughs> Well, we have a toddler now. She's pretty cute. Put her down so I can look at her up close. Oh my god, she does not look happy with me. In fact, she looks like she hates me. Are you good? I don't think she is. What are you doing? What the heck? What are you doing? Hello? Um, even the cat is distressed by this. Do you hear it screaming? What are you doing? Okay. Wow. Sure. Sure. That was, that was really quite something. Thank you for that. Sincerely. You know what? <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I'll leave. I don't know if I want to be here. There's weird stuff going on in this house. Oh, you know what? What if we had Pepper make the cake for Blake's birthday. Pepper needs to work on cooking skill anyway, and then we can age up Blake. I don't want to age up Blake. I'm so upset about this. But Blake's gonna age up anyway. We have to accept the reality of the situation, and it's that Blake is going to age up today. Blake will become an elder today. There's nothing we can do to stop it. It's happening. So let's make it nice at least. If I if I miss Blake's birthday, I'm gonna feel really guilty. Like genuinely really, really guilty. Well, that's level five. That's pretty good. Why is Mateo calling? You want to get to know Junior better. That's fine. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, let's age up Blake. Just make it happen. Oh no, I, I almost missed the screenshot. Oh, I'm so sad about this. You have no idea. Well, I guess maybe you do have an idea. As soon as Blake ages up, it's like the clock is ticking. They're they're dead, basically. Watch, look at this. MC Command Center, days left. Seven, including three and a half bonus days? Oh, oh my God. It's so good that we put the active trait. Oh, okay, wait, we have 10 days left. That's actually a lot. Oh, Blake, thank you. Sincerely, thank you for doing that for me. Blake might make it to see a grandkid. If we can work fast enough with Pepper, Blake might see a grandkid. Daddy Winter should be coming soon, and I'd like to see him when he comes. Oh my god, Tommy's here. Hello. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Maybe I'll give her a winter- f Here, maybe I'll give her the rose. <gasps> give her a rose for winter fat. Stop cleaning! Hey, Tommy. It is so lovely to see you, my friend. Well, maybe friend is the wrong word. Tommy, it is- it is very good to see you here today. Wait, what? What is wrong with you? Wait, she didn't like it! What is wrong? I gave you a rose! I gave you a rose for Winterfest! Why? Why are you being mean? No, 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 no! What do you mean, awkward encounter? I've planned my whole life with you, Tommy. You came here! You came here! Here on a holiday. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna try and do some funny stuff. No romance to see if I can like fix the vibes because this conversation is not going well. Oh, Blake acquired the writing skill. Okay, she's fine again. Funny conversation. Well, I got a couple things. I might, um, I might check my badge progress. I'm sorry. I know this is odd, but I just, I'm getting excited. Arts and craft four out of six, give back three out of five. Oh. <sighs> Oh, Daddy Winter! Daddy Winter is here. Daddy Winter is here. Daddy Winter is here. Okay, quick, here. Funny introduction. Ask for a present. Come on, give me something. She is so smelly. It's so gross. <laughs> Amateur hour child's violin. That's a great gift. Wait, Blake, you should get one too. I don't know why she's still here, although I guess she's leaving. Okay, bye, Tommy. <laughs> that was kind of a flop. Uh, she came here. It's reasonable that I got excited thinking she wanted to date me if she came to my house on a holiday, right? And yet, for some reason, she's made me to feel like I'm weird. What did I get? What did I get? Grand plans chess table? Isn't that expensive? Yeah, it's a thousand simoleons. Oh my gosh, sell that. Thank
Thank you, Santa. I really needed that. <laughs> I spent all my money decorating bedrooms, so I'm I'm running low. Okay, we're being haunted by Vlad. Oh, you know what? At least he's having fun. Maybe I'll let him stay. He seems like he's having a good time. So I, who am I to judge, right? I think the cat is trying to scare him off. Good job, buddy. Good job. Everybody had a successful Winterfest, though, and it's almost Pepper and Peter's birthdays. Ooh, that's actually scary because that means next episode, the new generation kind of technically starts. So I guess next week I'll have to build a new house. I need to figure out a day that's good. I'll stream it though, so I'll, I'll warn you in advance like when I'm gonna stream the house. Maybe I'll even stream it like the day I post the episode or something so that way I can tell you in the video like, hey, on my Twitch channel, I'll be streaming building the new house today. You can follow me on Twitch now though so you don't miss it. My name is just Lil Simsy on Twitch, same as on YouTube. And I stream like every day. So if you wanna pop in, you're welcome to join us. I'm actually getting really close to 600,000 followers on Twitch, so if you wanna follow me, I would. I would appreciate that. Thank you. Love you. Oh, does that mean it's your last day of school? Oh, it's their last day of high school. I've really, really flopped when it comes to being a scout, huh? <laughs> I didn't get like anything done. We haven't gotten any badges. Let me see if I can like give your mom these funny gifts because that counts. Come on. Oh, I'm washing dishes. Here, maybe you can repair this. Come here. Uh-oh, don't walk in on your mom. I have school in 10 minutes. I want to repair it. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to school. And I'm very playful. If you die from this, I can't have another one of those. I'm sorry. I can't. I just can't. Okay, Blake is off work today. We have to think about this because Blake doesn't really make that much money at work. Like, they'll go to the office and make like 200 simoleons in a day. So we could sell four plates and get that money. There isn't really a need for Blake to have a day job, especially because obviously we're in the athlete career and now that Blake is an elder, they can die from working out. So we do have to be kind of careful about stuff like that. But like, does Blake still want to have a job like so they can have something to do? That's the question. I'm I'm not really sure. At, at a certain point sort of soon, you're going to have grandkids, but not not for like probably four or five days, six days at least. Who's calling? Peter used forbidden words to speak to the teacher? What the heck? What are you doing swearing at the teacher? But like if we had Blake retire, maybe they could sit and knit every day. And and wouldn't that be lovely? We could have like some little turtles and stuff. It would it would be great. Anyway, well, we can talk about that. We don't have to have Blake retire yet. Plus they're off work today anyway, but maybe like after tomorrow we can retire. Oh my gosh, I didn't check neighborhood stories last night. Baby almost born. Someone moved into Newcrest. Baby was adopted. Journey died. Oh no. Okay, I'm sorry to scream, but Journey is is our family. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Journey got a little too angry and exploded? You know Journey because Journey was our brother's half-sister, right? Remember how Terry had a baby with that mean guy Fabian and then he cheated on her and had a baby with somebody else? That somebody else's baby was Journey. She died? She exploded? Got a little too angry and exploded? Oh my god. <gasps> Mateo also died? Oh, that's Tommy's dad. That's Pepper's girlfriend's dad. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are we just killing off everybody now? Oh, Tommy, I'm sorry. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> It's bad. That was a rough night for the Bell family. That was that was a rough night for the Bell family. I guess it was it was a rougher night for Tommy's family. I will say that. But like two people we know died. Here I was like, oh, some random people I don't know moved into Newcrest. Yeah, okay. And then all of a sudden my ha oh, okay. Well, it is the Nightmare Legacy Challenge, I suppose. We we don't call it that for no reason. But oh my god, I'm gonna try and befriend the maid a little bit while I'm here. I feel kind of bad because I haven't I haven't spoken to her yet. So I'm. I'm I'm gonna try and do that. Should Peter invite over classmate Jace? Yes, because I want to date him. And Perry wants to invite over Amira. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's gonna be a busy day in the Bell household. All right, I think on that note, I'm probably gonna end the part right here. We've made a lot of progress today. I'm really excited about next week because we're gonna kind of start the new generation. Now is a good time in the comments if you have any ideas for like style of build that we might make for Pepper, that would be super useful. I kind of want to do something more modern this time again. I want to have some more color in the house, I think. So we'll figure it out. Also, I don't want to think about Blake being an elder. I'm, I'm choosing to not even consider that because it makes me feel upset. So anyway, everyone have a wonderful week. If you enjoy this series, I'll link the playlist at the end of the video for you. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I was gonna say at least nobody died today, but that's not even true. Like we literally had two people that we know and love die. That's bad. That is a lot. That's a significant number. <laughs>